Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of how we can use the recalculate assignment cost option in Primavera P6. What is the purpose of this option and how we can use it. Basically, there are too many articles and tutorials on it, but I found that uh, tutorials are not reflecting the same. There are some confusions with it. That confusions I want to clear in my tutorial. Let's move forward and open your Premiere P6 software 20.12 version or whatever you have installed in your system. Before we already describe that actuals update progress now we have the option of calculate the assignment costs so i have prepared rename the project here with the same topic just open your project here so when the changes are made to resource or role cost information you are prompted to recalculate assignment cost so that the correct value displays for the activity cost in the all open projects the recalculate assignment cost command ensures that the project cost reflect any update price per unit values on activities. Actually, the same resource which you have used in the different projects that will be reflect the in your budget total cost and as per the budget cost of the same resource are roles. Actually, whenever you will update the resources cost or time then the cost will not be updated by Primavera itself you have to command them to recalculate the cost if you don't if you change the resources manners but you don't want to recalculate the cost then they have the option to don't recalculate it means you did not put the recalculate option so here this project has been opened and if you have seen here we will go and see the resources for the some activities and then for the resources you will see focus on the total budget cost is this one so open the resource resources here first of all the resources we will go and filter the resources for the only this project which i have already opened here there are two or three options which are standard rate and default units per time per day so here for the mason for the labor carpenter we just change two or three here you can see the for the mason is that one and here in the details are unit prices you can see maximum unit is how much is eight hours per day just say our maximum hours is 12 here and standard rate is not uh, 150 you can say the 300 per hour now we will go again in the activities in the activities and see where the where that resource has been assigned so in the mason here you can see the mason has been assigned in the foundation masonry and budget units is here and just customize here the budget cost this one click here budget cost apply and ok this one is our budget cost for the mason this one and these are the budget units so we change over there the budget cost for the this mason just this option is located here in the tools and the recalculate the assignment cost click on it this one yes I want to recalculate just focus here and here now you can see you have changed the mason cost it has been changed here and it is also affected the your budget total cost if we go to the resources again and here change for the labor suppose for the labor is we want to change labor is six hour per day and cost is decreased by 100 to 80 dollars 
okay now go again to the activities and see where it is labor is okay labor is also here you can see the total cost for the labor is this one and now we have to again uh, after the changing the cost for any resource or role you have to recalculate the assignment cost again and again after a single change you can have to change the assignment cost for the halls so here go to the resources and update as well this one 6 hours per day and 80 dollars per day ok go to the activities and here you can see here 8000 dollars tools and recalculate the assignment cost recalculate because we decrease the per day limit in hours and in cost as well it will be decreases by this one and this also has been changed if we it's not necessary that you have to change it. this you can be changed by your requirements in the resources if there are eight hours you can eight hours it is not necessary to change the maximum unit as well you can change only the standard rate as per your requirements so if there is a carpenter resource then it is also a resource for labor resource then maximum unit remains same 8 hours there it has no cost then we will assign suppose 100 dollars per hour or you can say 10 dollars per hour so in the activities just focus on the total budget cost and where is the carpenter is assigned we will see that specific activity as well homework here is the carpenter is assigned budget cost is now zero zero and in the tools recalculate the assignment cost recalculate it it is becomes like that if you did not use that option then it will be not updated your budget total cost and the figures will be wrong at the end of the day so this is how we can use and manage our costs for the resources this option is specially designed or added for the this specific real calculation for the budget cost here and budget cost here hopefully this tutorial is very helpful for you people please like share and comment on our tutorials how we are going thanks for watching allah hafiz